Hey douches and douchettes, what's up? Evil Pube here, and today I have a uh, quick game of Modern Warfare where I'm on a 42 kill streak, and then pfft, some random error happens, kicks me out of the game, and uh, there's, there's a kid's reaction at the end, and I'll just let you guys hear because it pretty much sums up what I felt. But today I'm going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3 versus Battlefield 3, and to me this is going to be a one-sided battle. Uh, Battlefield 3, I'm giving all the advantage. The, uh, the gunfights look cinematic in themselves, almost movie-like. Just the character movements and the animations. The, uh, you know, it just all around, all around just, you know, perfect almost. There's multiple trailers they have, I'm sure you can look it up. Go to Origins.com if you want to see the Battlefield multiplayer trailer, which also looks quite sexy. And it just, it looks like the game we've been waiting for. Looks like you know, a next generation game, but coming to, you know, PS3 and 360. But Modern Warfare 3, on the other hand, it looks like a game that could have been released in 2009, just like Modern Warfare 2. In fact, it does look exactly like Modern Warfare 2, to the point where they could have just fucking, you know, put the demo level that they used at E3 as a DLC for Modern Warfare 2, exactly the same. And I have a feeling that's going to transfer over to multiplayer, which means I'll probably squeeze about two weeks of enjoyment out of Modern Warfare 3. If that, just uh, if everything stays the same, it's it's not gonna be it's not gonna be good. It's gonna be no bueno. And it's just it's almost depressing because I love the Call of Duty series, and you know, I haven't played it since seventh grade. But that explains why I'm so bored with it. I mean, it hasn't changed, and I don't think it's about to. You know, it's. This is, uh, this is Battlefield's time to shine, I guess, but, you know, Modern Warfare 3 just didn't look that polished. For instance, you know, the guy in the demo, he had a fucking MP5 with a grip, but for some, you know, super intelligent reason, he decided that he wasn't going to hold it by the grip. And it's just little details like that, you know, to show this game's not going to be very polished. It's probably not going to have a beta, which, by the way, Battlefield getting an open beta in September, which was announced. Call of Duty? No beta, which means it's gonna be more issues just like before. I mean, there could still be a beta, but I mean, really, that's what we've been saying and asking for for the past two years, and I, it's not gonna happen. So, uh, you know, I hope Modern Warfare 3 is good, and I expect Battlefield 3 to be good, but don't hold your hopes for Call of Duty. You know, I'm, I'm surely not. But, uh, like I said, Battlefield 3. Man, you know, Modern Warfare 3, just the footage, uh, you know, it, it looks a bit stale as far as the single player, like the cinematics and stuff. I don't know, it looks forced. And just the comparison, you know, watch Battlefield, it just all looks epic and cinematic, just all by itself. And when you have to, like, have set pieces like the Call of Duty trailer did, it just doesn't look, doesn't look genuine. It's, I mean, I'm sure single player will be fun on Modern Warfare 3, but... You know, that's that's all that's all she wrote. Until next time guys. It's an evil pube and I hope Modern Warfare 3 is good. But uh I'm out. Crap. What does that even mean? <laughs> you... <laughs> Oh, hey, and one more thing. If you guys liked this video, uh, please leave a like, a comment on, you know, what you thought of it, any constructive criticism, or what you enjoyed about it. And uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you like this for further exclusive content. But until the next video, once again, it's Evil Pube, and I'm out.